Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me. Today is July 11th, 2021, and I'm so excited, and so should you. Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is breaking news. So before I start off with breaking news, I wanna say welcome to this edition of Rasheen Crawford Day right here on this Sunday. Today is July the 11th. I can say that we have 29 more days until my friend, my best friend, Rasheen Crawford, the late Rasheen Crawford, one year anniversary on August the 9th which would be one year of his passing. And then I also want to say that if he would have been alive today, uh, he would have had a 40th birthday and 45 more days, which would have been on August the 25th. We would have been 40. I have 50, okay? But as he would say, he's the oldest, so respect your elders. But uh, before we get to uh, uh, continuing news on this segment right here the hashtag down at the bottom sheeny hashtag sheeny uh but it's also hashtag rasheen crawford day all sunday uh is his day because that's the day that he went on home to glory uh which was on august the 9th 2020 at the age of 38 years old so uh i will continue to honor his legacy his life and his legacy as long as I have breath in my living body. So, uh, yeah, so on this Sunday, uh, we honor him right here. So, uh, welcome Omega Studio News, uh, Drew Review uh, on Facebook and on YouTube. Thank you so much. And also TST TV. Uh, be before I continue to move on, a uh, matter of fact, I just want to go ahead and just do it now, uh, just to. Uh, Put the disclaimer out there. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and uh, run the intro. This channel and these videos are not meant for children under the age of 13. And warning, the Omega Studio News and Talk Show TTV content warning over the age of 18. Okay, so breaking news right here, right now. I want to start off right now. Uh, R. Kelly was in court on Thursday. We have now learned right here on the Talk Show T, uh, Talk Show T TV, and also give honor to Crawford. Crawford. Uh, hold on, just give me one second. Uh, there's honor and then TST. Okay, so we have now just found out that uh, R. Kelly, Robert Kelly, bail has been denied. Now, I talk about him real quick. I talk about R. Kelly here on the show. I talk about Bill Cosby. And I also talk about the disgraced Jesse Smollett and the disgraced Harvey Weinstein and also other people that have been in social media news. 
But right here, I want to continue to go a little bit in depth of the whole R. Kelly situation. Now, every time when I come on here to report a story, breaking news, mm -hmm. I always tell you that in the case of him going to court, he's always denied bail. And I said that if he don't get the picture then, he should get the picture now, that they're not going to let this man go. They're not going to let this man go out into society because of the nature of his charges and uh, the severity of his charges. And not only that, again, I keep saying the obstruction of justice. That is something he is being charged federally. So let's go into the, uh, the situation room. So we're in breaking news right here, right now. Uh, we have learned that uh, singer R. Kelly has uh, basically bail has been denied in his sex trafficking case against him. Now we do know that he was moved from a um, from a facility from Illinois and brought to Brooklyn because he is now facing charges in Brooklyn federal charges. But also, he's also facing charges in Minnesota as well as Illinois. So let's go and continue. So we do know he have new lawyers, okay? They're saying that he have not seen any documents in his sex trafficking case, uh, which they're now saying that his trial will begin 8-18-21. Uh, some people on social media is saying that they want, um, they know that his trial is happening, so they don't want any black jurors on his, um, on his, um, you know, on the panel because they feel that the black jurors, let me just go to some of these uh, uh, comments that, that are here. So one comment says, keep black people off the R. Kelly jury. I don't want any black people Blacks on R. Kelly jury, we got to convict the pedophile R. Kelly this time. Black people tend to adore and support black celebrities who engage in sex with minors. Black people knew DMX impregnated a 16-year-old girl, and they still support him. Look how all these black people in New York City are drooling all over DMX's dead body at his funeral, just a shameful sight to have seen and watch. That is just one comment out of so many other comments. Uh, we have another one that says, can't wait for this perv to be found guilty and rot his evil, nasty, be nasty behind in prison for life. And then uh, somebody says, I cannot wait for R. Kelly to have his date in court. Uh, the artist deserve a speedy trial was that something that we come to find that when they did say he was going to go to court, the whole coronavirus had set in and then everything else had set in. And then when I reported to you guys before uh, he was supposed to go to court and then it backfired. So I don't know. So here, speedy trial is one thing, but I don't know how they work in the federal court of law. Uh, uh, we do know that, you know, he's been in jail for a long time, and we do know that if he's convicted, he can spend possibly the rest of his life in jail. So the artists deserve a speedy trial. One uh, comment says, I don't care if we have another COVID surge. They need to put his trial on Zoom. Now, I was even calling for the fact that, you know, when the disgraced Jesse Smollett trial begins sometime in eight, uh, August and September, uh, can they publicize it? But come to find out, they said no. Like, it was going to be a closed door situation. So I guess we'll have all the artists painting and, you know, but then they was asking for the uh, Chicago to dismiss his charges. Absolutely not. Okay, we're not on disgrace, Jesse Smollett. But I seen the video and I know what I seen and I know what I uh, read and it's just a disgrace that we're still dealing with 
the fact that this person is asking for his charges to be dropped. But I'm going to talk about this real quick, and then I'm going to be off for it until I have a subject where I'm talking about the screenshot of Smollett. But I did see on Facebook, because I'm friends with Rodney Chester, who is Noah's, who plays Noah, who plays, not plays Noah, on Noah Art, who plays Alex, one of the characters. Uh, Rodney Chester, he was in a photo op with the disgrace Jesse Smollett. Now, the United States, this country have not forgotten about what this guy did and what happened, okay, and everything that took place. We have not forgotten about it. I sure have not. And I can tell you that that's been the first time that we have seen him publicly since all that. Like, you could have come out on your social media platform and talked about whether or not the allegations that was said against you was true or people say, like, well, why do we have to even say that? Well, why do you even go out there and stage it? And, 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 and obviously it's not no, you know, allegedly it happened. But again, like I said, when we get on that topic, I'll discuss about it. But I also want to say to the Federal Bureau of Investigation, we, we are waiting social media. Me, everybody else is still waiting for your statements from the feds on whether or not you concluded and whether or not you found DNA and fingerprints on the letter that he sent over in that case. So I guess all that's going to come out in trial. Okay, so, but don't forget about that. We're not going to forget about that either. Okay, because I haven't seen any news about that. But we're waiting for the feds because that's the last statement that the feds had brought up. And they said that they were waiting for DNA and fingerprints because he committed a federal charge and he needs to be prosecuted for that because everybody who did the same thing before him got prosecuted and they got convicted or they got charges or it was on probation, parole. But it is what it is. He's no different. OK, the Jewish boy is no different. He's not a black man. He's a Jewish man. So people should understand that that's what he said. Okay. There's no racial profile in here. It is what he said. He is not black. Okay. So stop saying this black man. He is a Jewish man. Okay. But when we get on his topic, we will discuss about the disgrace Jesse Smollett. But yes, these are just some of the comments that they are saying about R. Kelly. They are also saying that R. Kelly, let me see, they're saying that R. Kelly appeared in a Brooklyn federal court in person for the first time ahead of his trial on July 8th, uh, which already passed. The 54-year-old stood beside his new legal team, uh, and they asked that he be released on bail, which the judge denied. Uh, then they ruled that Kelly's trial will begin August the 18th 2021 giving him the shame given that the shame singer a little over a month for he and his new lawyers to go over his case now i don't know like we do know hold on we do know that r kelly was indicted in july 2019 that was two years ago from this month july after being arrested by homeland security agents in new york Police Department Public Safety Office in Chicago. So in New York, he is charged with federal child pornography, kidnapping and obstruction of justice, and racketeering charges, according to the United States Attorney Office for the Eastern District of New York. Now, just alone can carry, I looked it up, can carry 99 years. That's the obstruction of justice. The obstruction of justice is when someone do something and they did it it's almost like uh um perjury it's almost like perjury it's almost like uh uh the court gave a gag order and you um went out and blab uh you in court so i'm gonna hold you contempt of court what he did was or allegedly was during his trial right during his trial uh, uh, allegedly, uh, during the procedure, while they were supposed to testify for him, somebody 
spook them off, spook, pay, whatever, interfered in a testimony while they was under oath. Okay? And mysteriously, this man was found not guilty, but they have found new evidence that obstruction of justice had played a part in his last trial, which was over a decade ago. And we do know that when you play, well, you, we do know that you don't play in the court of law. We do know you don't play with the justice system, especially because they will sense that ass. They will handle that ass very swiftly and in, in, in order. Okay. And that charge, uh, obstruction of justice, can carry up to 99 years. Okay. But we do know that child pornography is a no no. Okay. That's a no no. Kidnapping, no, no. Okay? We do know that there was a tape out there, a tape out there surfacing, surfacing where so many people watched. I watched it. I'm sure you watched it. And he was, it was, it was a man that looked just like him. And it was a girl there. And he was pissing on this girl, having sex with this girl, raw, anally, vaginally. And she was oral on him. And it looked just like him, and he peed on her. Okay. And what we have now come to find out that that porn was or is evidence because that was child porn. We were looking at children porn. That was children that was dressed up, children who was dressed up in the way they looked up on that photo or in that video that we all seen. Well, our minds were saying that, uh, Oh, that's not him. That looks somebody that looks just like him. Somebody looks just like him. Which we all damn near knew that's him. Okay. They have said that that's evidence that those uh women uh, was girls, was children. So they you they had that video as evidence. Plus, I also remember, and you can go into my archives to look at this, uh, and also um hear uh read about it. They said that. There was other videos. So apparently, allegedly, R. Kelly likes to record himself when he has sex. Okay? He likes to record himself, allegedly likes to record himself while he is getting down with the get down. So apparently, uh, when they say, when you have these computers and you feel like you deleted everything, you didn't delete everything. Okay? Because there's a hard drive. And the hard drive, he must have mysteriously forgotten about it, which a lot of people all pretty much forget about it if they don't know that it's there and they want to get rid of the, the computer be like, oh, you know what? I already deleted everything off of there. I reset it. I booted it. But it ain't even like that simple, bitch. Or, you know, it is, you know, you need to get that hard drive out and you need to destroy it or keep it with you. All right? But they found a whole bunch of computers with hard drives where it had porn on it that mysteriously was his. Videotapes, cameras. The feds have evidence they must have something if they got this man in jail for this long. I don't know. I do not know if he is going to get another bill, a, a Bill Cosby effect where the Supreme Court will ruin R. Kelly favor. I don't know. Okay. And I don't think they're going to rule in a favor if someone is convicted of child pornography, kidnapping, obstruction of justice, and racketeering. Racketeering. That is like, I don't even want to go into that. Like, it is just really upsetting to his fans because he had a lot of fans. I don't know if they're still there. I don't know if they still supporting him. They might be, they haven't, we haven't really heard anything from R. Kelly since this incident or since his, you know, allegations. But I can tell you that he is in jail and that the judge denied his bail. Now, speaking of bail, judge, you guys are like the jury people. So the jury people is usually behind me. Matter of fact, well, I can't call them up and uh, get them here, but Jury review is always on Fridays. Now, we have been having, because we're on summer vacation, they're on summer vacation doing anything. Uh, 
trying to level out because July is almost over. We got the August, and then we got September, October, November, planning and programming, and then you know doing things, bringing new information, new games for the YouTube gaming on TSC TV. Uh, I do want to get to that part with the uh, GTA 5. Thank you, everybody, for the series. I got you. I'm going to just explain this. Then I'm going to go to Bill Cosby. Then I'm going to give the update, and then I'm out of here. Okay? So, uh, uh, but my thing is this. His fans, you know, uh, I think at one point I seen that they were protesting. They were protesting, saying free R. Kelly because they felt that his charges was um not real they were false and that they're setting him up and that they just don't want to see a black man rise to the top because they always want to put him down that's just some of the things that they say but then you also have people who feel that they can use their uh their uh star power and their um you know it's almost like a cop with a gun and a badge and handcuffs it's almost like a rich person who feels like I'm protected because I have money. And if I do something, I can get rid of it just like that, okay? Or if I get a ticket, I can just go to the judge or I have lawyers or I can speak to the prosecutor or I know the chief at the police department or if my family member is in trouble and I know that they're going down into the station, they feel like, okay, I'll, I know the captain. It's not gonna do anything. It's just gonna release them with a warning when the charge was serious. So I can see here, Okay, I can see here that sometimes people can use those power effects and then they have lured these girls into this. And we just say allegedly, I'm just this is my opinion, everything here is my opinion, it is my opinion only. Okay, um, so nothing right, nothing wrong. Okay, is my opinion. So, uh, you some people can say that you know. He used his star power to be like, okay, well, and you know R. Kelly is an attractive man. He's a handsome man. So people, guys and girls are looking at him, and they're like, more like he's for girls. So they're looking at him, and they're like, well, he got money. He's a, a, a singer. So whatever. And it's just the stories that when you was hearing that there were dungeons, and they had to ask, can, he, can they go to the bathroom, and can they, uh, got, they have a time schedule to eat? And etc. I mean, that's just all what is out there in social media world. I am a citizen journalist. This is my hobby, and I love doing this because I can. This is a way for me to give my opinion to the world and put it in archives on how I think of a story that is out there in society that I love talking about and i love discussing about it because this is what makes me feel good and those who watch me and those who take on the information it is good for them okay so we do know that again r kelly goes to court again yet again 8 18 21 okay uh so yeah so let's see here um anything else from him he is charged with four counts of violating the man act for not only alleging transportation the underage girl across state lines, but also for being accused of exposing an underage girl and the infected varial disease without her knowledge. Okay, um, in Chicago, uh, he is also facing charges of child pornography and obstruction of justice. He is accused of conspiring with two of his team members to pay off witnesses and victims to change their statement during the 2008 child pornography trial. He is also charged with one count of conspiracy to receive child pornography, two counts of receiving child pornography, and four counts 
of producing child pornography and five counts of enticing of a minor to engage in criminal sexual activity. The U.S. Attorney Office, Northern District of Illinois, shared. These charges stem from over 20 years of allegation of sex crime against the underage girls and women. Okay, so my next person that I'll be talking about is Bill Cosby. Real quick for Bill Cosby, uh, there was just a ton of information that had came out on social media, which I have already shared with you guys uh, when he was released from prison. There was another uh, information that was surfacing out in social media where Bill Cosby had said, uh, is this a dream? When he uh, found out that he was getting released or when he found out that the uh, court, he didn't even find out the court returned. It was that he was getting released. Okay. So social media uh, news are now saying that when I did break the news on jury review on not this Friday, last Friday, uh, that when Bill Cosby had got out, he had said that he wanted to return back to the comedy world. Well, we are now getting some breaking news information, and this is coming from TMZ, that uh, Bill Cosby potential stand-up tour rejected by New York City's comedian seller. So I'm not really sure if that is because his recent release from jail. I don't know if that is because somebody who was, uh, who may have uh, been affected by him and probably a victim uh, is probably part of them, you understand, or has some association to do with them. But we are now finding out that they are now rejecting Bill Cosby. And one of Bill Cosby uh, 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 dreams was to return back to comedy because, you know, that is something that he was doing and that is something that he loved doing is something that is talent. He has that talent in that and, you know, once you have a talent, you've been doing it for so many years, uh, you know, you always have that with you. And no matter what, and, and I gotta just say this, no matter what, you know, you always have that talent. You just have to re-seek it and you know, dust it off and, you know, blow off this, you know, the, the dirt and stuff around it, but you have it. Okay. And and the reason why I emphasize that so much is because my brother, my biological brother, uh, he told me that he lost his ability of drawing. And I said, that's impossible. Okay. You have always drawn so much. Oh my God. He, if he was, if he's still drawing today, he would probably be working with making the Tesla cars or making some. That's how good he was. Like he just is artist like. It was like it was stupid. You know what I mean? It was it was it was it was crazy. You know, and you know, he would send things home from jail and prison and, and like how the Like, and I'm like, this is crazy. And then I said, yo, do you have the ability to draw? Do you still have the ability? He says, no, I, I don't have, No, you still have it. You still have it, damn it. It's just the fact is that you got the goal and you got to get a little deeper into it. You would never lose that. So Bill Cosby, he will never lose the comedy. And I'm sure a lot of people will pay to watch him because he's been in jail, prison. I'm sorry, he's been in prison and he's been gone for a long time. Okay. So a lot of his fans will want to know what, what, and where and what's he been up to. You understand? So we just got breaking news that Bill Cosby potential stand up tour rejected by New York. Comedy seller. I'm not going to go into the polls. I'm just going to just read the headlines. The Cosby case shows that we don't have rule of law. We have rule by prosecutor. Uh, Philadelphia visual held to protest Bill Cosby released from prison. 
Uh, Cosby accuser and their supporters hold visual to denounce court decision overturning. Bill Cosby accused of gather the protests overturned convictions in Independent Hall. That's in Philadelphia. Uh, Bill Cosby considered suing Pennsylvania for hundreds of thousands for wrongful incarceration. Bill Cosby speaks on uh, the people who criticized him. And is this a dream? Bill Cosby's first words upon his release from prison are revealed. So that's the part in Bill Cosby. Okay, so all right, my boy Sheeny, Rasheen Crawford, what up, what up, what up? May not be here in Spati, but you are here in spirit. Okay, um, okay, so let me just go ahead and move on to this part. Uh, so yeah, so like I said, thank you guys uh, so much for making it worth going up to the channel tsc tv you guys have made it happen for grant that photo five now it's so coincidence because this thursday this thursday on um the 15th would have been the season finale of gta5 but um let me just do this real quick um hold on but this Thursday would have been the season finale of GTA 5. But I do want to share with you guys that the season finale had gone and ended. It has gone, and you guys can go up on the, um, the blog page. And you guys can go and watch the uh, show, which is right here. I'm showing it right here. The season finale... The season finale, uh, GTA 5, this was supposed to go down on uh, uh, the 15th, but it we turned around and had it uh, early because the fact is, is that the um, I didn't really know what was going to come about uh, further after GTA 5. This is that we were just going to take a break uh, a little bit early. So we did it in... Uh, much earlier than July. Okay, so you guys can go up there. I was I just want to say uh we have um we have uh uh we got we have gotten a lot of views okay compared to you know the shortness because we only had 15 yeah this was the 15th episode we only had 15 episodes of GTA 5 and I can tell you that TSC TV, they do have a playlist which will be or is available right now, uh, which you guys can go up there. It is called the Special Series GTA 5 Season 1, Episode 1. Through Episode 1 through 15. Okay. And. Uh, Let's see, we started the series on March the 4th, 2021, okay? And again, we all know that date very clearly because that was the same day that T.S. Madison experience started and it ran for six weeks, six episodes, and we continue to, uh, continue to run until 15. We was going to go into the... 20th and it's so interesting because the 15th the 15th the 15th we ended on the 15th the 15th of this week july 15th would have made the season finale of 20 episodes 
but we decided to crack it at 15 because of the uh, summer recess and then coming back out with another game that I have to show you guys and I tell you guys going to like it. So I'll get to that. So yes. So this episode here is the uh, episode that is on Talk Show TTV uh, blog page. And you guys can go up there. Shout out to uh, Al Nicholson and shout out to Daquan Jones for the meeting that we had on the other day, the Zoom meeting. Now, I can tell you guys that um, I know some, some of the fans are still asking or still want to know about jury review. I mean, not jury review, the session. Now, if you guys go to... If you guys go to the Facebook uh, group page, you guys can go up to Jury Review, which is the new room, which have taken the place over the political process. So it's now called Jury Review, the Session Club, JRTSC. Okay? And you guys can go up there, and you guys can like the page, you guys can follow the page, and you guys can get updates on the page as well as commenting comment share and um you know liking and going live on the page it's nothing wrong with going live on the group page is open all again it was all uh for the political process which was one of the groups that we had where i was doing the mayor and being the president of the usa in the game but all that content is still up there so uh it's just that the name the jury people come back on the uh, on Friday, which again that is um, that is every Friday at uh, we don't have a, a set time, but we try to we're gonna see if we can if anything push it to a little bit more earlier and try to do it on the jury review, the session club JRTS C, okay. So yes, yeah, so this is where you guys can go up here. You guys can go up here and follow uh, the blog page. Uh, it's not just that. You guys have TST, OS News Station 911, America Truck Simulator. Uh, there is the, um, this is season two, episode six. And then we have also the episode one, two, three, four, five, and season two. So you guys can go up there and look at that. Uh, the session blog talk. Now, uh, this is where I want to shout out to Daquan and Al Nicholson for making it happen for the session. Now, I do know that we 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 did talk about the fact that we wanted to have uh, some conversation where uh, well dialogue. So what 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 the session was more like uh, using blog talk radio. And people from anywhere that had a landline can call in, or not a landline, just a cell phone landline, and call into the session. And they may have something on their mind, and they want to talk about it. And the people that's on the line that's listening, they give their advice. They give their concerns. They just get it all out. Like, a lot of people get it all out. A lot of people feel like it's more like a, a, a and Al, Al Nicholson said this the best, uh, it's more like, getting your frustration out into the system and the system is the phone okay it's called the session and and we have people who may have been feeling that they want to just get their anger out because you know sometimes people don't have people don't have people to talk to you know what i mean people don't have people to call and say i love you or you know i care about you or you know how was your day you know, those words, those kind of words go a long way for somebody by brightening up their day and making them feel, you know, that they're worth somebody and they they make it feel that they're worth living. Because sometimes people wake up this morning in the morning and don't even thank God for the blessing. They just say, okay, well, I'm up. What I'm not doing ain't nothing for me to do. I'm just going to lay back down again. But there's a tons of things that you can do. Oh, it's boring. It can't be boring. Your life cannot be boring. There's multiple millions of things a person can do and one of those things is uh having people call in and talking and pretty much you know getting it off their chest and saying you know what 
I've had a shitty day and I just want to just explain myself and then see what I can get some help by just listening to me and let me vent and it is what it is. Or then you got some people which Daquan Jones have also said it does. He said this is the time where somebody can even say that let me talk, let me vent, and I don't want any feedback. That's it. And that you don't, the floor is all yours. And then once you finish talking, and if it has to do with anything with suicidal, or if it has to do with anything with anything that we know that there is national hotlines out there and resources out there for them, then this is what we go ahead and find and we talk it out over the phone and we explain to them that, listen, it's going to be okay. You can always call. You can always be right here on the session. So that's the session. And that is something that we are now continuing to put together and working together with the Omega Studio News and Tokyo TCB. Okay, so yeah, so this is just some of the uh, some of the things that you can uh, go entertain yourself on Blog Talk, uh, not Blog Talk, on uh, SoundCloud, and also uh, entertain yourself on um, iHeartRadio. Speaker iHeartRadio is on Omega Studio News and Touch T is on iHeartRadio and also SoundCloud. So you guys can go up there and um, you know listen to that then we have jury review which i told you guys we have jury review we have jury people and um again the jury review in the uh the session club jrtsc you guys can go up on uh facebook and you guys can go and you guys can join the group it's easy just go up there and join the group all right um What's next? All right, so there's, there, there's jury people, okay? There's jury people we use in the background, and I basically give my opinions on what, um, what, oh, what, but, well, it's basically everything that happened in the week, I just boil it up and give my opinion on it, and then I'll stick with the jury people and uh, making my, you know, um, final thoughts and decisions. All right, so this is basically archives. You guys can go up here. And um, this one here is the T.S. Madison one and Candy, okay? I can tell you that jury review have started um, off the heels of the strength of the Queen Supreme Court. And when the Queen Supreme Court was making their um, um, debut, uh, she, used to be, she used to be like, um, where are my jury people at? And I was like, okay, well, come up with jury review. So jury review would be where the jury people will take some of the, the when you have live sessions, it'll be live. Actually, it'll be live when she has her um, guests at her last show, eventually her last show with the Queen Supreme Court on internet is this one right here with Candy from the Herald Housewives of Atlanta. But I can tell you that uh, right now, or maybe today, I think, uh, let me just see right here, because usually we do talk about Matty Mob News. But I can tell you that um, they have, um, they are in uh, Mexico. And the Queen Supreme Court is supposed to be going uh, live with uh, Miss Sophia. And Miss Sophia's birthday is supposed to be either the other day or, but yeah, she is one of the uh, hosts along with Funky Nineva who have become the final judges on the Queen Supreme Court. So uh, they are in um, Mexico along with some of the fans who traveled there with them. And they've been planning this out ever since last year, but it, the coronavirus had hit and then they push it over to this time, so they're out there. And Miss Mary, Holy Ghost got me, child, and tearing up my shoes. Okay, she's saying that the weather is really, really hot in Mexico, and but uh, nevertheless, they are having a nice time because you know it's always fun to get away from where you're at. Just a little bit. It's nothing wrong with getting away. All right. So yeah, so this is jury review. You guys can go up there on the blog page and 
watch Instagram. Now, Instagram was cut short just for uh, discontinuing. We have to fix that page there. Uh, the Omega Studio News and the Media Room, as well as the, oh, I like the way this is. Let me just play this real quick. You see that? That looks beautiful, right? And, uh, uh, okay, so that's beautiful. And then, uh, if you want to contact me, you can go to my bio and, uh, you guys can read all about it right here, right here, right here, right here. And, um, yeah, just some of the stuff that's on social media. And then you can contact me. Uh, using this page and then uh, the podcast which is associated with the uh, iHeartRadio and SoundCloud okay so you can find all of these podcasts not the latest but some of the things that I've done in 2019 we got 2020 there 2018. but all that make a comeback very soon all right so that's the blog page Okay, so um, let me see. I think I'm getting some breaking news in here. Um, let me see. Okay, that is. Okay, so Gray Fox hit by a car in Ocean County on 4th of July has died. A Gray Fox that was hit by a car and they brought it into the rescue shelter in Ocean County. Uh, they found out that the Fox went, it was having surgery to repair the damage that uh, happened to the Fox. And they found out that when they was just about to be done with the procedure, the Fox heart started racing and then it just gave out. They tried all efforts to save the gray fox, but it succumbed. I don't really I don't really want to say anything about that because you know I was just really disgusted by the fact that you know the mayor race that was going on in New York where uh, Andrew Yang was running for mayor uh, I could not have stressed it because um, when I first heard about Andrew Yang's name it was from when he was running for president of the United States of America. Um, but sometimes a lot of people feel like when they put their support behind people, they feel that they're just not really doing enough uh, uh, unless you have, unless you donate to their organization. Um, they don't look at the small things in life, like a pulse or a like, from somebody who may not have contributed to your campaign or donated, you know, asking for thousands of dollars and the whole political, but maybe they don't have it. It's a fan. So my thing is this, um, some people was very um, pleased and displeased by the fact that, um, and the reason why I'm saying this is because I want to put this in archives and I want to choose my words very carefully because once when you say it, it's there and it's an archives and it will be played over and over and over and over and over. Okay, it will be played one week from now, two weeks from now, six months from now, eight years from now, 20 years from now, 50 years from now, 100 years from now, as long as the source of this media which is youtube or facebook exist 
this will be in archives forever. Okay, so people feel that when you do things, you just feel that, you know, you just have a, a, a intuition. And the intuition is, I, 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 now I trust my intuition. I call it my intuition, intuition. And I just feel that, you know, sometimes people are only human. That's how I'm going to say it. Andrew Yang is human. And I feel that sometimes, and I thought that, you know, if he did not do good in one place, maybe God is trying to put him somewhere else. But that didn't work out. So maybe that's not where he's supposed to be. But I'm just really disgusted by the fact that Eric Adams won the Democratic position in the mayoral race in New York City. Why I'm disgusted, again, this is my opinion, okay, is because I really was really rooting for a female, okay? It's always good to have change in history. We have received a female vice president. We have a lot of females who are in power in the Biden and Harris administration. So I really wanted to see a female become mayor in New York. It just changed the whole diversity of what we can do in life. And this man is a formal cop. This man is a formal cop. And this man is a uh, is in the uh, 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 captain uh, association, the same association that went behind Andrew Yang and supported him. Now you couldn't support this man when he was a formal cop, no, because a lot of people feel that the things that police and law enforcement and I've covered it on the show, they have done us wrong. They have done us wrong. And to have a formal cop and, and the cop kill George Floyd and the cop kill um, uh, Eric Gardner and the cop kill Tamir Rice and the cop kill Freddie Gray and the cop kill Sandra Bland and the cop kill, uh, I just keep going on and on. Breonna Taylor. It's just so many people that law enforcement have killed. And this man is a formal police officer who is now up for mayor run against the Republican to become the mayor of New York City. Again, my opinion is I wanted to see a female in office. It was just so close. But it came, come to find out that the way that they have a voting system in New York uh, set up is where they have the citizens vote, do a first, second, third, fourth, fifth choice. And some people that I've read in the comments, they have said that it was very heartbreaking because once when someone got it wrong, or filled in a line accidentally, had to go all the way stand the line and get another ballot, and they had to go all over again, print it out. It was just all different. So, okay, so yeah, so uh, Eric Adams is now the front run up against the Republican, which they will square off in November, and those votes will go out. People will go out and vote for whether or not they will have a Republican or a Democrat as mayor of New York. All right, so anything else? Anything else before I skedaddle? All right, I can tell you that, um, yeah, I did hear some information about uh, Vanessa Bryant, the, the wife of the late Kobe Bryant, was suing her mother. That was a very, very um, tragic and nasty um battle especially when you're dealing with your your kin your mama your family member it's just really devastating yeah i definitely need to get into this story about the victims in the golf course triple murder 
where this man uh, is or have been arrested for a triple homicide in Atlanta. So I have not really diverged on that, but that's something that the jury people can divert. Uh, yep, that's Sheeny back there. Okay. Yep. Gene Crawford, 45 days. He would have been 40 years old. And uh, we do know that uh, that would have been a, a very, very, you know, great, because he would definitely be like, you know what? I'm older than you. Respect the elders. I'm the oldest. I'm like, okay, man. But nevertheless, yes, we have 29 more days left for its one year anniversary on August the 9th, 2021. Uh, I don't really know anything about this story, but I can tell you that they're saying, and I have to um, still continue to, um, you know, dissect the information and bring it up on to um, one of the, um, maybe the jury people too can uh, dissect this too. But I don't know anything about or I'm hearing the fact that American citizens may have played a role in the assassination of Haiti's president. Uh, they're saying that suspect in an assassination told police that the plan was to arrest and not kill him. And I heard that they were saying that the other, I think it was Mexican or um, uh, Asian, I don't know, some other race was saying that they too said that somebody in Miami had hit them up to come and gain um, some um, um, uh, training with us and be bored with us because we're going to allegedly go arrest the uh, president of Haiti. And, 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 and the two um, uh, uh, other uh, citizens or uh, residents that they're saying uh, they also had a similar story. They were saying that um, they contacted them saying that they wanted to uh, joined this this group to go and um, uh, uh, arrest this man. But they said when they got there, allegedly, they just overfired, killing the president in, of Haiti and injuring his wife, which we do know from social media news that his wife was flown from Haiti to a hospital in Florida. And that's all we know about that. So I don't really know anything else about that story. Again, I haven't really followed it and, until there is any breaking news uh, on social media about her condition, whether or not she may pass or whether or not she will, uh, you know, gain conscious or her condition and give police uh, information. I'll give that breaking news uh, as it uh, is available. Also, too, they were saying that... Um, the uh, council people over there in Haiti was asking for Biden to send over some militaries over there to their uh, country to help and assist. I'm not really sure uh, whether or not if that can be ha can that happen. I mean, I know they have consulates and em embassies and all this stuff, so you never know. Maybe they might send them over there. Okay, and I haven't really uh, gotten any information or touched any information on the Richardson case where uh the track star the fastest woman uh in the world uh test positive for THC in her system and she was banned from the olympics like the you represent the united states of america so my thing is you know just my opinion um you know i understand a difficult time you can die and basically you have a way to uh cope with the the death of somebody, and it can be hard, okay? It can be really, really hard when somebody die because I know I've been through it, okay? And uh, the choice, you know, could have been a little bit different, okay? Um, but it happened, and I just don't, I, I, I believe that the rules are the rules, and if it was anybody else, they would have gotten the same penalty. It's almost like you are going to a job interview and you definitely definitely need to get your t's crossed and your eyes dotted and knowing that you have to come prepared or go home
And thank you guys so much right here, right now for joining me on this edition of the Rasheen Crawford Day. Right here, right now, I'm Corinne Clemens giving you the update. I'll see you guys very soon. For more information, you guys can visit the blog page.